All right, now we're doing free code camp, new responsive web design. Learn CSS colors by building a set of colored markers, step 49. So we've learned a few ways to set flat colors in CSS, but we also can use a color transition or gradient on an element. A gradient is when one color transitions into another. Uh, the CSS linear gradient function lets us control the direction of the transition along a line and which colors are used. Okay, One thing to remember is that the linear gradient function actually creates an image element and is usually paired with the background property which can accept an image as a value. Okay. So in the red CSS rule, we're going to change the background color property to background. Okay. So highlight all this. Background. Duh. Background. Background. All right. And it does that. Let's check it. Nope. Our red CSS should have that background property with the value. What? Property to background. What? Uh, okay. The red CSS rule should have a background property with the values. Oh, background. Okay. There we go. Check it. All right. There we go. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 50, and we'll see you next time.